today we are going to learn next type that is a problems based on fractions okay in previous videos we learned that problems based on articles and their cost then problem based on numbers now today we are going to learn problem based on fractions okay so first example is a fraction becomes 4 by 5 if one is added to both numerator and denominator if however 5 is subtracted from both numerator and denominator the fraction becomes 1 by 2 what is the fraction okay so here we have to suppose that let numerator be x and denominator be y then fraction is x upon y okay so here i am supposing that numerator be x denominator be y so fraction is x by y okay now first condition is given if one is added to both numerator and denominator so if we add one to numerator and denominator then fraction becomes 4 by 5 so this is equal to 4 by 5 so if we simplify this we will get first equation so if we simplify this 5x plus 5 And is equal to four y plus four. So if we simplify this, five x minus four y is equal to four minus five. That is a minus one. So this is equation one. Similarly, second equation or second condition is given. If, however, five is subtracted from both numerator and denominator. So five is subtracted from both numerator and denominator then fraction becomes 1 by 2 so is equal to 1 by 2 so if we simplify this 2x minus 10 is equal to y minus 5 so 2x minus y is equal to minus 5 plus 10 that is a 5 this is equation 2 now we have to solve this equation 1 and 2 so If we multiply by four to equation two, and then we subtract this two equation. So if we multiply by two, sorry, multiply by four. So multiply equation two by four, and then subtract. Okay. So now I'm writing directly these two equations. So first equation is 5x minus 4y is equal to minus 1, and if we multiply by 4, so we'll get 8x minus 4y is equal to 20. If we subtract this, minus plus minus. So 5x minus 8x minus 3x. This will get cancelled. Minus one minus twenty. That is minus twenty one. So x is equal to seven. So if x is equal to seven, if we put in equation two, so from two, x is seven. So two seven is forty. Two into seven minus y is equal to five. So two seven is forty. So minus y is equal to five minus forty. That is minus nine. So y is equal to nine. So x is equal to seven, y is equal to nine. Therefore, fraction is seven upon. Okay, fraction is seven upon nine. We have to find fraction. So write answer like this way. Required fraction or given fraction is seven by nine. Okay, understand this one. Now we will take. Second example. The second example is a fraction is such that if the numerator is multiplied by three and the denominator is reduced by three, we get eighteen by eleven. But if the numerator is increased by eight and the denominator is doubled, we get
we get to work find the fraction so again same now here i am writing let the fraction be x upon y let the fraction be x upon y so first condition is if the numerator is multiplied by 3 so 3x divided by denominator is reduced by 3 so y minus 3 is equal to 18 by 11 so if we simplify this 33x is equal to 18y minus 18 3 is a 54 so 33x minus 18y is equal to minus 54 so if we simplify this again it is divisible by 3 so 11x minus 6y is equal to minus 18 this is equation 1 okay then second equation is we get oh sorry but if the numerator is increased by 8 so numerator is increased by 8 and the denominator is doubled so double means multiply by 2 so denominator is 2y is equal to fraction is 2 by 5 Okay, so if you multiply this, 5x plus 40 is equal to 4y. So 5x minus 4y is equal to minus 4. So this is equation number two. Now if you simplify this, here denom uh, we can make coefficient of y equal. Okay, 6 and 4 LCM is 12. So here I am multiplying by two, and here I am multiplying by three. So I am writing directly now. If we multiply equation one by two, we will get equation is twenty-two x minus twelve y is equal to minus thirty-six. And here, if we multiply by three, fifteen x minus twelve y is equal to minus one twenty. Okay, now we have to subtract this because sign is same. So minus plus plus. When two x minus fifteen x seven x, this will get cancelled. Then one twenty minus thirty six. So it is a eighty four. So seven x is equal to eighty four. X is equal to twelve. Now if we put x is equal to twelve in any one equation, so suppose in second equation if we put from two. 12 into 5, so this is 60 minus 4y is equal to minus 40. So minus 4y is equal to minus 40 minus 60. That is minus 100. So y is equal to 25. So x is equal to 12, y is equal to 25. So fraction is 12 divided by 25. Okay. So required fraction is 12 divided by 25. Understand this one. Now we will take third example. Third example is the denominator of a fraction is four more than twice the numerator. When both the numerator and denominator are decreased by six, the denominator becomes twelve times the numerator. Determine the fraction. Okay. So here let the numerator be x. And denominator be y. Okay. So numerator be x and denominator be y. Then fraction is x by y. Okay. Now what is first condition is given? The denominator of a fraction is four more than twice the numerator. So here we don't take fraction. What is given directly? Denominator of a fraction. So what is denominator? Y. So denominator of fraction is four more than twice the numerator. So y is equal to four plus two x. So if we simplify this, two x here I am shifting y here and four shift here. So two x minus y is equal to minus four. 
this is equation one. Second equation when both the numerator and denominator are decreased by six. So when we decrease by six, numerator becomes x minus six and denominator becomes y minus six. Okay. And then what is given? Then the denominator becomes twelve times the numerator. So if we decrease by six, both numerator and denominator, then y minus six denominator becomes twelve times the numerator. Okay. So y minus six is equal to twelve into x minus six. So if, if we simplify this, y minus six is equal to twelve x minus. 72. So 12x y shift there. So minus y and minus 6 plus 72. So is equal to minus 6 plus 72. Okay. Then 12x minus y minus 6 plus 72. So this is 66. Okay. So we will get this equation number two. Now 2x minus y is equal to minus 4 and 12x minus y is equal to 66. This is equation. This is these are two equations. Now we have to solve this equation one and two. Now we are already coefficient of y is same, so we have to subtract this two equation. So subtracting one and two. So 12x minus y is equal to 66. And 2x minus y is equal to minus 4. So minus plus plus. So 12x minus 2x, 10x, 66 plus 4. That is a 70. So x is equal to 7. Now x is equal to 7. If we put in equation one, so from one. 2x that is a 2 into 7 minus y is equal to minus 4. So 14 minus y is equal to minus 4 minus 14. So y minus y is equal to minus 18. So y is equal to 18. Okay. So x is 7, y is equal to 18 means fraction is 7 by 18. Okay, understand this. So in next video we will take next type that is a problem based on ages. Okay.